Last week, the cast of Community got together to do a live table read as well as a Q&A. If you're a fan of the series and haven't seen the video, I highly recommend it. And if you're a fan of good television, I also highly recommend the series. Now one of the dishes that appears in the show is buttered noodles, and it just so happens to be the favourite dish of my favourite character from the series. So today we will attempt to make buttered noodles. Personally, I've never heard of this dish before watching the series, so logically I had to do some research. After an extensive amount of in-depth googling, I gathered that the dish originated from Germany, but is more or less a quick and easy childhood dish for many Americans. Also, it's commonly served in many canteens in schools around the country. So in order to experience the dish in its purest form, I opted for the most basic of recipes, which consists of butter and noodles. As for the choice of noodles, I opted for spaghetti because as you can see over here, Abed is seen eating something that looks like spaghetti, so that's what I'm going with. I'm using a coarser noodle because it has better texture and sauces tend to adhere a lot better to it. Pro tip! Here's a quick and easy way to open a packet of pasta. As for the choice of butter, most butters around a similar price range tend to taste very similar. Because of that, I opted to use whatever I already had in my fridge. However, I thought it would be interesting to try out a butter that's roughly double the price of the regular brands, so I did just that. To keep it fairly basic, I boiled a 100 grams of pasta and placed 15 grams of each butter in separate bowls. Once the pasta was done cooking, I split them equally into the two bowls, mixed them around to emulsify the sauce, seasoned with a bit more salt and pepper, and well tasted them. As expected, it tasted exactly like butter and noodles. I can see why people would serve it in canteens. It's simple, cheap, fast free and would go well with many other dishes. I will say that the pricier butter had a distinctively richer taste, but I could probably reduce the amount used for the amount of spaghetti that's cooked. So with that out of the way, I decided to take it a step further. How exactly could I improve this dish to make it something that could be served on its own without straying too far from the sauce material? After a bit of thought, I figured what better ingredient to go with pasta than cheese, specifically parmigiano reggiano. So here's what I ended up with. I placed another 50 grams of pasta into a pot of boiling salted water. And while that was cooking, I mixed about 10 grams of the pricier butter with about 15 grams of parmigiano reggiano. To add another layer of flavor, I decided to make some brown butter. So in another pan, I placed a knob of butter, heated it up until it became brown butter. You'll know when it's ready when it starts to foam, turns brown and gives off a nutty roasted smell. Remove it off the heat immediately because any further it will become burnt butter. And trust me, you don't want to eat that. Once the pasta was cooked, I transferred it to the bowl with the butter and cheese and mixed it around to emulsify the sauce. I felt that the sauce would have a better texture if it was a little runnier. So what I did was added a few spoonfuls of the pasta water and continued mixing it. I added a generous amount of freshly cracked black pepper in order to add some heat as well as to balance the overall flavour. I wanted the pepper to be present but not to overpower the dish. And finally, to finish the dish off, a drizzle of that delicious brown butter. So there you have it, a slightly more adult version of buttered noodles. It's considerably less greasy, but easily 10 times more delicious. I'm sure there are other variations of the dish, but a man can only eat so much pasta and so much butter in one sitting. And that's all for today. If you enjoyed the video or learned something new, smash that like button, share the video and consider subscribing. We always appreciate all the support here, by we I meant me. Also, if you have any other food requests, let me know down in the comments below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video.